Welcome back everyone, General Tourney here, your host, and welcome back my friends to a brand new episode on the channel. So yesterday Supercell released the official trailer for Captain's Log Day 1 which sees the adventure of a hog rider, his pig and a wizard as they sail across the seven seas into the sunset to find out what's on the other side. And of course, we got the barbarian who's currently running underwater guys, but is he dead? Nobody quite knows yet, so hashtag RIP barbarian down below in that comment section if you think that little beautiful man is dead. But check it out guys, so yesterday as I said, Supercell released a trailer, and as of yet, no one has really broken it down and seen and given an explanation as to what the Hog Rider is actually saying. So I've been, you know, writing down a few ideas over the last hour or so, and I think I've got a, a, a kind of broad idea of what this update trailer is hinting at. So over the next 10 to 15 minutes, I'm going to give you my own thought process on what I think this trailer slash teaser means. Is there an update sneak peek hidden inside of it? Stay tuned and you'll find out. Oh, and by the way, in case any of you were wondering, Supercell have stated that it is extremely unlikely we will be receiving normal sneak peeks this update, guys. So do not expect to see any sneak peeks on YouTubers' channels. Instead, I believe Supercell has decided to take a really cool option and kind of provide us with, hopefully, a teaser trailer every single day, showing the journey of a hog rider, his pig, and the wizard. As I said, you never know, we could see a trailer from the Barbarian, but I don't know if he's going to be able to speak if he's running under the water. What I do expect is one of the uh, the trailers that comes out when they reach the beach on the other side. I'm expecting the Barbarian to like come running out of the water and, you know, wave his sword around. Leave a like if you think that's going to happen, guys. But let's get back into this and see what this is all about. So let's do this. I'm excited to tell you my opinion. So during the entire trailer, it is all about the Hog Rider, guys. It is the Hog Rider's log. Day one, he is the captain, the Hog Rider I believe is the captain of the ship, and he basically says a few short sentences over the, I don't know, 40 second trailer, and I'm going to break these down for you, so let me just tell you exactly what he says. So first off, discovering new land means new possibilities. I could totally reinvent myself, back home I'm just a Hog Rider. The epic warrior with a great voice who demolishes castles with his hammer. But in the new land, I could be a new man. I'd call myself Chaz. My neighbor would say, hey Chaz, and I'd say nothing because I forgot that's my name. But when I've got my new job as a gardener, I'd smile. So now it's time to break down each sentence, sentence by sentence, and see if we can work out what the Hog Rider means. So please do not forget to subscribe to the channel really quickly, guys, to find out what will be coming in the update. Help us reach... 1.6 million subs. I'm going to bring you a whole variety of different content as soon as this does launch, guys. So back to the Hog Rider. The first thing he thinks of is discovering new land means new possibilities. So let's break this down. What does it mean? Obviously, there is going to be new land. And with this new land, there is going to be new possibilities. That's very easy to understand, guys. So I believe... We're going to land on some form of, obviously, new land. And the uh, the realm itself that we know currently is very structured. You know, you've got your base, you've got war, you've got trophy pushing, farming. I think the new land is going to be like some sort of wildlife. Maybe going to be wild troops inside of there, you know, kind of like, obviously not like Pokemon guys, but kind of more wild. There's going to be no structure to it. I've got a feeling you're going to have to farm in maybe clans, gather resources, gather some free gems, maybe you're going to have to expend some troops, maybe they're going to go and farm for you, and eventually they could bring back these resources to your base, which penultimately will mean you can become a Town Hall 11 fast up because you can upgrade your defenses, and you know, maybe even make some gems whilst you're doing it, whilst you're voyaging across the sea, and you know, reaching the new land. So new land means new possibilities, a very simple breakdown guys, it's going to be completely different, from the current game structure we have totally right now. So moving on to the second sentence, I could totally reinvent myself. So the Hog Rider is saying he can reinvent himself. This means that we could possibly change everything about the troops we're using. Maybe we can give them some sort of new name. Maybe we can change the way they look, guys. You never know, there could be some sort of tools that Supercell are implementing into the game which could allow you to diversify your troops. So if you were to say to me, Tony, you could totally reinvent yourself, how would I take that? Pretty much everything about my life. Forget about it, guys. Let's build a new life and let's see if we can make it very, I would say, tailored to your base. 
That would be awesome. If, if Supercell is going to implement some sort of tailoring where you can change your troops to how you want them to look, to the name, you know, a specific name, that would be absolutely cool. So let's do this, let's do this, let's move on to sentence number three. Hopefully you guys are enjoying and kind of getting an understanding of what this means so far. If you enjoy it, guys, keep watching, this is only going to get better. So, sentence number three. Back home, I'm just a hog rider, the epic warrior with a great voice who demolishes castles with his hammer. So it's a pretty, pretty standard sentence, guys. There's not really too much hidden inside of this. The Hog Rider is basically explaining what he does back home. His current, you know, his current skill in the game is to run around, bash the, just batter the fences. And then once he's taken down all the defenses, he batters the buildings. Then once he's battered the buildings, he goes and he bashes the Barbarian King's head in. That's pretty much what he does so far. Very self-explanatory. Let's go on to number four. But in the new land, I could be a new man. This is where it starts to get interesting. So obviously in the new land, he may not be the same sort of warrior, guys. He could be completely different, and he may not even be a combat warrior anymore. That's what a lot of people are starting to get worried at. Could Supercell be kind of implementing into the game some sort of mass farming strategy where you use troops to go, you know, voyage across the sea, guys, farm resources, but you maybe do it in real time so it's not, like, automatically done for you. You actually go over there yourself, Farm up loads of resources, bring them back on your boats every single day, and you also get a couple of gems along the way. I personally think that is such a cool idea, guys. The concept itself is amazing, and the greatest thing about it is so many players will be able to upgrade their bases so much faster. And I don't know if you remember, guys, back at the end of 2016, Supercell said the one problem that they had with the game was that there were no new players, guys. It was only old school players who were already Tunnel 9, 10, 11. All the new players would always drop off. Have they finally found a solution to making new players stay in the game, guys? Could we be about to receive the most insane farming strategy you will ever see? Who knows? Let's keep going and see what else we can find out. By the way, please do not kind of misunderstand what I just said there, guys. Although I did say there could be a new farming strategy, there is also an insane possibility there could be some sort of new crazy attack game mode where, you know, you can take on other players in a different realm, guys. So keep an open mind. I'm just talking about farming so far from what the Hog Rider has said inside of the trailer slash teaser. So let's move on to the next one. Here we go. Here we go. So I call myself Chaz. This is the easiest one. Obviously, Supercell is, is going to allow us, I believe, to, you know, give our ourselves our own creative little names. So, for example, I'm called General Tony, but if I go to this new realm, maybe I could be called Big Man Tony. And maybe all the other guys, all the other villagers, they're going to call me Big Man Tony. But when I go back home, I'm still going to be called General Tony when I take the ship back to my base. And the next sentence actually says, my neighbor would say, hey, Chaz. And I'd say nothing because I forgot that's my new name. So obviously the neighbor maybe being your clan mates inside of the new realm. This suggests that you could be sharing the land with all your clan mates. And that is beautiful, guys. Imagine if you go over to this new land, you take the ship across to this new land. And it's kind of like wildlife where you and all your clan mates can go and take as much land as possible, farm up, steal resources, take some gems, kill the locals, slay their heads off, and they're your neighbors, and they can help you do that. They're going to call me Big Man Tony, but then when I'm finished for the day and I, I want to come back home to my wife and kids, you know, my pig, I'm just going to jump on the boat, come back home, and then I'm known as, you know, General Tony again. That is a really cool concept, and I believe... This could be what the Hog Rider is talking about. He says, and I'd say nothing because I forgot that's my new name. So obviously you're not going to be used to getting called Big Man Tony. So you're going to completely forget that that's your new name. But when you go back home, you're going to understand. You're going to remember. You're going to say, yeah, I'm Big Man Tony. So now time to move on to the final sentence in the first Captain Log Day 1 update teaser slash trailer, guys. But when I've got my new job as a gardener, I'd smile. Perhaps this is the biggest clue. Perhaps this is the update sneak peek, guys. Are we going to be gardening? Does that mean we are going to be farming? Does that mean we are going to be using our troops, who are currently attacking troops in the game, like the Hog Rider, Barbarian, and Wizard, to farm up these new lands, which is going to allow us to pretty much upgrade our bases back home even faster? Is that what it means, guys? Are we going to be farming? 
Is this gonna be like, you know, sending your troops onto this boat? Voyage across the seas, make it onto the other side, back into the wildlife, take the Hog Rider, the Wizard and the Barbarian, go into the forests and farm up some really cool resources, kill some local warriors as I said, and bring back the, uh, you know, the bacon for the, for the wife and kids. My opinion, this is uh, a sneak peek inside of a teaser trailer guys, if you really break it down, you can kind of understand what Supercell is getting at here. Expect to see many more of these teasers, these captain logs. I would say maybe another three, maybe even another four of them. I don't think the update, the update's going to be released for a couple of days. But uh, Supercell has said it's going to be released at a really random time, I believe. There aren't going to be any normal sneak peeks. Do not expect to see them from YouTubers. As I said, the update is going to launch really randomly, apparently, according to a lot of people. Uh, I think they may just be waiting for confirmation from the Google and the Apple Store. But expect it to see it this week. I've got a feeling it's going to be coming out this week. Maybe Tuesday, maybe Wednesday. Fingers crossed we are going to receive the Captain's Log Day 2 today, Saturday, the 6th of May 2017. So that the update can be released shortly, guys. Stay tuned, leave a like if you enjoyed this video. And I will break down trailer number 2, hopefully in a couple of hours time. Make sure you all have a great weekend. Enjoy the game, go and farm up and prepare for the update. I'll see you shortly. Peace out.